What's up guys in this video I'll show you how to create this simple for sin in Unreal Engine and we'll do it procedurally using Unreal Engine 5.2 procedural content generation plugin okay so this would be the a simple scene that I can we can create in Unreal Engine I'll show you the workflow of what I did in creating this and I'll also explain you the process behind it so let's get started so the very first thing I'll do is I'll create a new level and then I can go with the basic um, we can actually delete this this floor so I'll just delete this I'll go into the landscape mode and go ahead and create a landscape so once we have the landscape I think um, if you want to do some sculpting um, you can do so you can probably use some sculpting and I think my brush size is pretty big I mean but it doesn't matter in terms of the size so I'll go ahead and smooth this you know, pretty much and so yeah basically I'm sculpting some so basically this is to give some variation in the terrain then you can smooth it out you know um, just so that you can uh, see some bumps on the terrain okay so after I'm done with this um, oh another thing I forgot is make sure you go to edit plugin and you do have procedural content generation framework checked off because this is the magic pill which helps in procedurally content generating after this is done it will ask you to restart your engine and go ahead and restart the engine okay after that is done another thing I have already done that's something you might want to check out is um, go ahead to add some assets to the scene so basically what I did was I went into the uh, the Quixel bridge went into the plan section and then basically downloaded some plans for me so this is all the plans that I have also downloaded some like uh, stones you know uh, yeah everything that you might need to procedurally put in your scene you can go ahead and download so I made sure I had some grasses some bush you know also another thing I did was I added the European beach tree I'll put the link for the European beach in the video description as well so now we have the uh, landscape what we can do is basically apply some landscape materials so I'll go ahead and apply a material that I have here sorry so go ahead and apply the material to the landscape so I can I think I do have a forest maybe. If I were to go in here, surface, mossy ground, yep, there it is. So I drag and drop and apply the material. Um, if we want to fix it, we can fix it by using tiling offset. Actually, I could do this. So, yeah, so our forest bed is ready. Now, let's populate something in here okay so to use a procedural content generation um, what you can do is uh, go ahead and go to the volumes and just drag and drop the uh, PCG volume okay and right you can see that there's a uh, this box that appears so basically we are gonna generate everything in here I'll go ahead and put that in there. I'm going to increase the size of this. So what you can do is click on the PCZ volume. And since it is locked, I can go ahead and increase the size. So maybe at least uh, I can give 15. OK. So this is the volume on which the things will generate. OK. And that's what we are doing. I don't need to put that up. That up. So I can just do maybe 
10? Yep, I think. Now let's lock it. Um, okay, so we have the volume. Now, what you will do is click on the PCZ volume on your outliner. And if you scroll underneath this uh, detail tab, you'll see the PCZ component, okay? Click on the PCZ component. <clears throat> click on the PCZ component and go to this section which says graph underneath the instance, okay? And then in the none, go ahead and create new asset. Click on the PCZ graph. I already have one. I will show you later. But go ahead and click this one. And I can say tut graph, okay? And what we'll do is I'll double click on the graph and I'll bring this window in here. Maybe I should make it smaller. Yep, there it is. So what we see is we have the input and output node, okay? So the middle portion is what we need to generate. So if you were to take this tab down, you will see that there is a landscape. A parameter so we'll basically select from the landscape and we'll do surface sampler so basically we are sampling to the uh, landscape so this is where we want to generate the 3d models correct um, and you can actually debug it and you can see right there let me see uh, if I were to so still on a PCZ volume, PCZ content, if I were to generate and I'll go up here, you can see that it already had generated the, the some uh, debug uh, cubes for us to visualize it. We could, we could technically uh, see how our 3D instances will be populated. So this is how it will, end. okay. Um, there are a whole lot of parameters that you can play with. The points per square is the density of the, um, so I'm gonna put it 0 0.1. Looseness is what defines as the, how tight or dense or less dense the items are. Um, similarly, and this is underneath, I'm selecting the surface sampler and going to detail pan, okay? Uh, let me put in here so that you can actually see it better. Um, I'll remove the debug and I'll add, so I'll, I'll click and then take away from that. And I will also add a transform points. By using transform points, what we can do is, um, I can actually define how random the things are. I could probably say maybe 30 to 90 degree, you know, in terms of a minimum rotation you know and I can do the same thing debug I can go back and you can see that um, our stuff has been randomly you know rotated okay now so these are the two nodes that you will add in here the, the final thing that you will do is actually do a static a static mess spawn okay and what you can do is basically track this over here and in the static mesh spawner this is where underneath the mesh entries go ahead and click plus and this is where we want to populate something so for my first thing let's see i can go ahead and find those forest let me see yeah european beach so i'll go ahead and add a tree and of course it will take some time to all right so it's preparing and there it is our of course very dense forest right uh so the thing is we need to manipulate some of the numbers here so go to the surface sampler um what i can do is i can do 0 0.05 maybe let's see all right better i think uh okay let's see all right so we have the tree all right so first step done and if you want to still randomize the way the tree appears you can go to the the pcg graph um, and you can basically change the seed so here this seed is the variation if i would go 100 
I think maybe I also I should put take this out so that you can see it in here. So maybe 50. See, uh, there's some variation. Okay, uh, some variation in terms of how the tea tree populates in the field. Now let's add some bushes to our PCZ. Okay, so if I were to go in here, I think this is the one. Cute graph. Now I'll go ahead and uh, select all of this, type C and comment this as a tree. Okay. And basically we are going to do the same thing for the grass. So I'll basically copy this and I can change. I mean, it depends on how we want to change. So we can change the sampler under static mess. Make sure you're selecting like a bush. So I'm going to go ahead and select the bush and yeah, maybe if you want to change the variation in terms of angle, you can do so. And the same way I'm going to select from the, I'm going to plug it to surface and out to output. Okay. Now, and there you can see that the, uh, the bush has been populated. Now, we can still randomize it uh, by using some sort of randomness that I talked earlier. So if you were to go on a sample, uh, maybe looseness is what you want to change. You know, looseness will also help you get more dense, you know, in terms of that. Um, maybe on a static mesh, I can change the seat to 4000. It doesn't matter what number you give. Um, yeah. So now the only thing you got to do is, so you have that. Now, next thing, what I will do is go under my same thing. I'll go ahead, uh, comment this and say this as a push. Okay. And I will uh, copy this all control V and yeah, basically I'm changing your point uh, one and maybe in the static mass spawner I'll go ahead and put some you know some wild grass I'll just pull it to surface I'll put I'll make sure to comment this as grass all right uh, so I went ahead and added a whole lot of items to my forest and as you can see it's a matter of populating a lot of items so what i did was you can see my graph is quite a lot i basically added like tree generator the grass generator some flower static mesh you know um yeah basically collected some assets and populated in here and yeah i basically changed uh some variations in terms of looseness, you know, um, points per square, um, some seeds. So everything that you can do to get randomness in the scene. Okay. And this is what I have. And I think the procedural content generation is pretty sweet ad in terms of level building and also, you know, generating new ideas so i i add you can see that there's a grass um i think there are like rocks there's a flowering plant there's a bush there's a tree um yeah it's a matter of like just uh, getting a reference of the place that you're trying to design and making sure that you are adding them in some sort of variations you can also go ahead and create an entirely new volume like say uh, one volume here for a certain type of stuff here a different volume for another kind of stuff yeah in nutshell i think uh, it requires a lot of experimentation in terms of practice uh, so my suggestion is go ahead and download a whole lot of 3d assets and basically just you know get the surface sampler the transform points the static spawner plug it in and populate this values you know play with it don't be afraid to break it you know um yeah and then i think that's the way you learn how to do it so hopefully the pcz was clear to you 
if you have any questions uh, leave it in the comment and yeah i'll see you in the next one